<clears throat> I'm going to show how to set up the Unreal Insights on Android. So this is my Android installation. It's pack packaged up and I'm going to install it. And I will need to run a few commands. Um, so it's pretty much from here, except this is 427, and some of the commands have changed for Unreal 5. So um, we redirect the traffic over the USB. So this is the device, got to record the traffic, and then after that, there's this command. Um, set prop uh, debug and it will run this when the uh, program initializes. Um, so you can see I've removed the 4 here, so it's now ue.command line for Unreal 5. I'll run this one <clears throat> and now it should start tracing to the local host. So I'm going to open Unreal Insights. Uh, these are some older traces. Um, let me just close these down. I have uh, Unreal Editor open. I'm just going to delete these. Okay, so I'm going to open the application in the headset, and it's opening now, and you can see that it is sending the data to the PC. Uh, just a couple of things to note, if you have like a firewall or net limiter, something similar, it can block this. So, I don't think they need to be on the same network because it's going through USB, but you might do. So, yeah, you can double click it and it will open the um, timing insights. So, here I'm just going to say I want the game thread and maybe the uh, render thread. So, um, if I see a frame that's taking up like a lot of time, I can click it, then press F. It will focus in on that frame. So this is the, the render. It took the longest on that one, and it's focused the render thread. This is like primary frame. This is the game frame. And you can zoom in and you know see okay, these are the blueprint functions that are being called on tick and so on. Um if you look at the documentation says that running the ADP set prop will only persist as long as the device is turned on. Um, there is another way uh, that you can do this, um, where you can um, send over the um, uh, excuse me Additional commands through the um, command line. So um, here, uh, this guy says, you know, you can add in start named events. Uh, this should help with seeing the blueprint events and so on. Um, you just need to feed in the 
Okay, it's now UE command line, not UE4 command line. Um, you can copy that over before you launch the game. Or, you know, you can run these, like you can put these in your game instance or something. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how, how you do it. So hopefully this helps somebody because I couldn't find anything in the Unreal 5 documentation for this. Figured I would just make a quick video about it. 